We're extremely excited about the HBCU Legacy Bowl. You know, we got a chance to ex expand our platform, not only with the bowl game, but with the HBCU combine. Uh, and that was, that was Monday. You give a lot of guys, a lot of young men, opportunities. And I think that's what it's all about. And that's what is being done. This past Monday, like I said, you know, in collaboration with the NFL, we hosted the combine with all the top players in HBCU, and nearly 50 of them. Starting tomorrow, we're hosting over 1,500 students. These are not football players. These are 1,500 students, which also include a whole lot of young ladies. And that's, that's what makes it so important. And it's not just a game. We got the job fair down at the convention center on Thursday and Friday where we're hosting and busting them in. That's the most important thing. We are busting them in to give them an opportunity to attend this job fair. Over 1,500 HBCU students. To me, that's bigger than the football game. But the football game give a lot of young men, not young ladies, an opportunity. And that's the difference. This everybody. And that's what's so important. This Saturday would be the second edition of the HBC Legacy Bowl due to the overwhelming success in our first one. Players has entered the NFL. Last year we was able to have over 40 guys either drafted, either attended camp, or signed a free agent contract. More than triple the opportunity three years or four years prior to that time. And that's what this is all about is an opportunity. This whole week is opportunity. And that's what we're giving these young guys, an opportunity to be seen. And the job fair, everybody's not going to go to the NFL, but it also gives them an opportunity to meet with all over 100 companies and employers going to be waiting on those guys with their resume in hand. They ain't coming to see do you want a job. They got jobs to hand out. And that's what makes this so exciting, get an opportunity to go to this job fair.